Welcome to Cricut Crafts by Jo. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add score lines in Design Space. So this video idea was one that came up when I asked you guys for suggestions for videos. So I hope you find it helpful. Now the project that I'm working in on Design Space at the moment is another tutorial that I'll be doing shortly of a folded heart card so look out for that one and I'll add the link at a late date. So what I want to be able to do here is add the orange heart onto the green scalloped card but have it so that it's got a score line running down the middle of the orange one so I can fold the edges up. So both of these heart images I just got from insert images and typed heart into the search function. So I'm just going to bring this orange heart to the front to make it easier to work with. And I've just noticed the size of that green one. So I want the orange one to be smaller and sit within the green scalloped heart. So to do this, I'm just going to resize it. So that's the diagonal arrowed option. And all I'm going to do is click on it and drag it in to make it smaller. And then just stick it up over the green. Oh, no, I think I'll have it a bit smaller. And yeah, I think that probably looks about right. Maybe a tad smaller. There, I'm happy. Now all I'm going to do is drag a box around them to select both of the hearts and then go up to a line and align them centrally just so I can check the sizing again. And yeah. Now what I want to be able to do is add the score line from the top to the bottom <coughs> of the heart. So to do this you go to insert shapes and hit the score line button. Now the score line button in design space is a little bit naughty because it disappears sometimes. As you can see when it's not selected it disappears into the grid work. So you just have to look for them a little bit more carefully sometimes. So I'm just going to place the score line over the top and just noticed actually that the heart isn't straight. No, the line doesn't run through the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to click on it and then press the curved arrow and this is the rotate function. So I'm just going to rotate it ever so slightly to line them up. Looks like it only needs about one degree. And yeah, the score line runs there through the top and the bottom. So next to do is resize the score line. So just select it, the resize button, and then drag it to where you want and click. And that's resized right. Now at the moment, you'll see the score line's just completely um, free. It's not on anything. It's not going to attach itself. And if I go to the mats, I can show you that it's not attached to anything because I'm just looking for it. There it is. It's just a random score line all on its own. And so when I put this through the Cricut machine, all it's going to do is just draw a score line randomly on the card that I've got. So in order to do this, there's two ways of doing it. You can select the score line and then if you're using a Mac which I am press the command function on your keyboard and whilst pressing that down click on the heart if you haven't got a Mac then I believe it's the control function for a Windows keyboard and as you can see both of the images are selected because they're both blue in the layers panel and there's another way of selecting both of the images and that's by just simply dragging a box around it. I believe that's what you do if you're using the design space in an app such as on your iPhone or your iPad because obviously the keyboard doesn't pop up. So what we're going to do is click the attach button. Grouping it is no good here because all it's going to do is group the images together. It won't actually attach them together on the mat. So you must attach. If you ever want to take the score line off, just press detach. And as you can see, the score line is now attached to the heart. So if I go to the mat, 
looking for the orange colour here, you will see that the heart has now got the little score line drawn on. And if I move it across slightly, you can see the score line. So that's it. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Um, appreciate your comments, guys. All right, thanks. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully I'll have another one for you soon. Bye!